All right, about time we got a 79 through here again, especially in Sandy Torp. Over 12 months ago, actually, since we had a Sandy Torp in here. Um, I'm going to give you a pretty detailed run through of this car. It's, um, well, let's just say it's not too different to other 79s that we've done, but it's got a few different quirks about it. Um, brand new model, obviously, GXL dual cab. Uh, first thing we do is the J Max 4495 chassis conversion, the super chassis. Uh, it incorporates a 300mm extension into it, uh, a, a coiled rear end um, with the appropriate rated coils. We've now gone with the J-Max Alpha Series uh, shocks in this one. Uh, our standard inclusion is the manual adjust. We can opt for the electric adjustment shocks as well with the in-cab control. Uh, does add a little bit more. It's quite labour intensive to install the in-cab control, but is quite cool being able to adjust your shocks on, on the run. Um, and you can, they've actually got an auto feature so that it'll auto stabilise and dampen the shocks according to how much body roll the car has, which is really quite cool. Uh, but so anyway, we've got the manual adjust in here. Um, part of the J-Max kit, you obviously get adjustable pan hard, adjustable lower control arms, front radius arms, the big, um, the big uh, hydraulic brake booster, braided brake lines, the Brown Davis 180 litre long range tank. 4495 GVM Federal, uh, it also has a four tonne towing upgrade. Uh, the, the combined mass is 7995, meaning that you can, uh, if you need to tow four tonne, you've got to keep your car at four tonne as well. Um, if you want to load your car up to four and a half, you can legally tow about three and a half tonne. So um, the, if you need more, if you need to be at four and a half tonne and, and tow four and a half tonne, we have to auto convert this car and we'll have a nine ton rolling federal package anywhere in Australia. So that's the way we go with this one. Norweld canopy on the back. This is our Pro Touring spec 1900 canopy on the 1986 tray base, the four toolboxes, under tray rear drawer. Got a bit of stuff. It's a massive drawer in the back here. Like you can fit max tracks, you can fit all your recovery gear, axes, tools, whatever you want in there. Uh, we've done our airbag man kit, uh, which is the permanent permanent mount kit with constant onboard air, ignition triggered, so you've always got air ready to go. It also controls the wireless airbag uh, kit as well. So in, in, from in the cab, you can control your airbags up and down. Uh, we've got the Jenny hitch, the Gen Y hitch on this one. This is the four and a half ton model. Up the top, the Bush Company 270 XT uh, with all of the newer uh, Norweld multi-racks. Norweld have recently developed all new awning mounts to cater for most 270 degree and pull out straight awnings. So the awning mounts for this kit is actually a, just a genuine Norweld product. You can buy them from Norweld if you've got a multi-rack old or new. Um, I'll show you, we'll keep coming around this side and then I'll go through the inside. We've got the uh, worn rear winch here, safety Dave plug in at the back. Um, the big draw on this side, we normally put all our, we've got the jack legs in this one. Full carpet package in here with the 25mm uh, roof insulation panelling. Our normal Pro Touring fit out, the Red Arc, Red Vision system, TVMS, we've got 2000 watt inverter, 200 amp hour, uh, and a drive BTEC lithium. Uh, we've got the, the two, uh, two pole um, RCD GPO as well. Um, and so with, with the um, canopy jacks, we opt for the extended height ones. The 79s are quite tall, so you do need the extension leg on the jack. For anyone asking why the extended height, they're pretty tall. They need the extra length on the jack leg. So um, we can opt either a 600 mil shelf here, or this is our standard, a 1200 mil shelf. You can slide it forward and backwards or pull it out if you need to put something larger here. Um, inside the cab, we haven't gone rear speakers and sub and amp in this one. We've kept it sort of, um, oh look, it still sounds completely sick compared to a factory dual cab. We've still got the focal flax six and a half splits in here. They're driven by the Kenwood DDX 920. Uh, it's a wireless Apple CarPlay unit. It's a really easy to use um, functional head unit. It doesn't break the bank. It's good. It comes with a, um, a nice, uh, like a high definition reverse camera too. So. Um, which you can actually sort of, um, at night, for, for low light reversing, 
uh, it, is, it is so clear, um, even during the day, it makes the factory cameras look pretty terrible. Um, Black Duck, four element seat covers, front and rear. Black Duck are one of the only companies that do make seat covers to match the Recaros. These are Recaro Expert M's in here, um, and you've still got the ability to put a nice cover over the top of them. It's got the side bolsters, air bladder in the rear, the extension at the front here. They're a nice seat, good addition to the 79. We've got the department of the interior, um, full length floor console with matching Recaro pole strap on top. The T-shaped console up here. Um, we wire in all our LEDs to still work, so when your doors are open, this touch panel still works with your door. You've got constant power in your little LEDs. Um, you've got the UHF up here, and we've also got a self wide go unit up on on this side here. Um, you still need to be able to access the self wire, remember, guys, to be able to push the buttons on it. So, uh, with the Air Toe Pro, all our normal lights. We've got the little um, pillar pod mounts for the focal tweeters as well and how cool is this we don't do these often on the 79s but loving the power boards the 79 power boards do have the little led strip in underneath and we've paired that up with the next gen electric mirrors too very cool it's a three inch lift if the guys are wondering it is a three inch lift these are a 295 70 17 so it's actually for touring it's a really cool combination it's a good height um, it's actually quite practical to get in and out of the, get the stuff in and out of the canopy. Uh, you still get a lot of your braking and low down torque because they're not as big as, you know, like the 35s do zap a little bit more of your down low torque. ARB Summit Deluxe Big Tube Bar in our um, Pro Touring Powder Nava Mark II, 215 Ultimas. They are a little bit brighter than the originals um, and they've got the black, the black backing on them. So we're a big fan of the Navas. They are for bang for buck and like it, good quality, warranty support anywhere in Australia, that sort of stuff. We've got the diesel power unlimited performance kit in here with the high flow cooler, Provent catch can, pre-filter kit. Um, we sort of average around the 600 Newton mark post tune, keeping everything safe as houses. Um, we can push it further obviously, but we like to try and keep it um, pretty modest, you know, it's not gonna, not gonna damage anything. So, um, we've got the Rhino Pioneer platform up on top and our 100 watt solar panel up there, little Nava side lights. We like to be able to disconnect everything. So everything's on Deutsch plug or Anderson plug um, connections so you can pull it off if you need to clean the roof or do whatever. Canopy completely removable. The rear camera on the back, um, we put uh, plugs on it as well. So the whole lot can come off easily. Um, all waterproof connections, stuff like that. Over in here, mate, we've got, this is our Red Vision screen. Obviously we try and keep everything switched corresponding to the side that it's on. Um, and we've also got, there's a few extra bits and pieces in this one. We've got the, um, the travel buddy as well. So we can actually, we put the travel buddy on a channel so that you can, if you want, uh, turn it on while you're driving. If you've got something, you set this to the right temperature, turn it on, and then while you're driving, you can turn your travel buddy on about half an hour out of reaching camp or something like that. It's pretty cool. Um, big drawer, table prep. This is standard. Everyone asking, the Norworld sticker does come on all of the canopies, so um, you're not gonna miss out there. And if you don't have one, you can always get one from Norworld, so. That's it, guys. Beautiful Sandy. Unreal. Any questions regarding this one, hit us up, drop a comment or send us an email, give us a call. We'll do our best to get back to you. So uh, congratulations, Tim, mate. Legend. See you guys.